I'm ready. You're ready. Three, two, let's go. All right. Oh. <laughs> yeah, let's uh, fluff those up here. Get some wrap in for Buffalo for the Hell. Hell. last time this season. So. Zunk, what are we doing here today? All right. Uh, first of all, good evening. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Lunchroom Syndicate. I am Christopher. Uh, this guy over here, the stranger, is Jay. You remember Jay? He used to play. He used to make videos for us. Yeah, it's it's been a while. Uh, so today we are talking NHL predictions. Get down to business, Jay. Uh, let's start with the Metro. Metro, absolutely. Um, Metro, for me, there's not a team that stands out that I'm going, yes, this is the team that goes in first. Um, I am looking at two teams where I think they're battling for last. Uh, if I had to guess, you're looking at New Jersey and Columbus? Absolutely. I would say I agree with that. I think New Jersey's slightly better than what Columbus is right now. Although I think Columbus, if Patrick Line returns to some sort of form, I think they could surprise a bit. But I would agree that those two are definitely the bottom two as of right now. Anything could change. You never know about injuries and stuff. But um, Pittsburgh, although I will say Pittsburgh, uh, starting to see them without Crosby and Malkin, although Crosby shouldn't miss too much time. Uh, they might be down at the bottom for a while. <laughs> yeah, the, they'll come back later in the season once they, they get will. some health. They will. They will for sure. Line up. Um, but I agree with you with the Columbus and New Jersey. Um for me, anything shy of 40 goals for Patrick Wine is a complete miss of a season. Um, he, he has to hit it. Um, Jersey, I think, although I have them as a bottom two in the division here, I think they could be jumping up because they just have a lot of young talent and who knows when they're going to spark. Um, Jack Hughes, um, Buffalo, if you want to make a trade here, get rid of Eichel to somebody and you can work something out with uh, Jersey, I will be happy to take both Hughes. No, one of them, not up yet. Um, so we agree, Columbus then, down at the bottom. Yeah, yep. I would definitely say Columbus bottom, New Jersey above them. Oh, hi, Squeaky. Boom. And boom. Okay. Right. So now this is where it gets interesting. Yeah, anybody can, I think any of these teams can finish almost anywhere. I don't know why I have Carolina in second, because I don't even know who I'd have in first. But Carolina's in second for me. Uh, I, I would say you most likely have the Islanders in first. Um, How do you lean in that way? Because I think when, maybe not from what you would, if you look at the roster, you might not think they're the best team in the division, and understandably so. But as I found out last year, and as we found out for the last couple years, don't doubt the fucking Islanders, man. <laughs> like, they are a legitimately good team. They went to the Eastern Conference Finals last year without their captain, Anders Lee, who's a pretty good goal scorer in his own right. Uh, you know, this team... But the thing is, they're now a regular season team. They're kind of like the Kings where there's another team we'll get to in a little bit that, that also kind of reminds me of that. They're kind of like the Kings from, the what, the early to mid-2010s where, yeah, they didn't have the regular season results, but when they got in the playoffs, well, they won two cups. They, and they won those two cups at eight and six. So that's kind of what the Islanders are. But the problem is, this, as you said, this whole division is so similar that you can see every team rise up to the top or fall towards the bottom. Um, the Rangers added a lot of grit. Again, I don't know if that translates to regular season success. I'm not sure if that's a good thing for them right now either. I think they kind of went. I don't like what a they too far. Yeah, you know, I understand the whole Tom Wilson thing and the, like that whole thing just seemed like it really blew their team up. And they had so much young talent. I don't know if I like what they did fully. Um, I understand why they did what they did, but um, I just feel like they went a little too far with it. And honestly, for me, New York would be the next team after Jersey um, in terms of at, towards really? the bottom. Uh, the Rangers, yeah. Oh. I, uh, I, I'm not sold on their goaltending. I'm not sold on on their team as a whole right now. See, their goaltending, I think I disagree with you quite a bit. Um, maybe not maybe not ready to step up quite yet, but as a tandem going forward, I think they have one of the top tandems in the league. They could, they could, they for sure, but I'm just not... I, I don't think yeah. they're ready yet. Yeah, um, and that's kind of where I'm where I'm at with that as well. I kind of misspoke a little bit, but yeah. Um, well, I don't have a 
too many strong arguments against that, so I guess that's where they're going. Okay. Um, and plus, when I look at these other five teams, the only the only other team, like Pittsburgh with Crosby and Malkin healthy, and that's a big key, is much better than... It's hard for me to put the Rangers above them. It's hard, obviously, we already talked to Islanders, Carolina, although they had a, one of the weirdest offseasons in, in, in history. The only other... Philadelphia's weird. They should be better than they are. I... Uh, they picked up one of my favorite favorite guys, um, which I think will help him out tremendously on defense and Risto line in. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, we're both big Risto fans, and and I do I do agree with that. And I, although they got rid of Ghost and Nolan Patrick, uh, Nolan wasn't really working out there, and Ghost had already basically was in the doghouse for the last like three years. You know what? I, I didn't even start these guys down at the bottom. They were already going to move down a spot. Oh, poor Columbus! They can't win. Um, I don't know. I'm kind of leaning back and forth. I think Pittsburgh and Washington are probably the next two weakest teams. I, I would agree with that. Washington, Washington's problem is they could have a really good year, but they are getting like Detroit Red Ruins level old now. They're going to fall off at some point. Yeah, and it's this um, year. I mean, I, I still think Ovechkin's going to score a thousand goals. It seems like, but what? I mean, this team. I, I don't think a single def- – unless they, they might have changed, but, like, last year, not a single defenseman was under 30 <laughs> or, like, 29 maybe was one of them. But they're an old team, and that's dangerous right now. And Pittsburgh, they have an old core, but they have a young group beyond them. But it really is the Crosby, Melkin, and Latang show, and if them guys ain't healthy or aren't producing, kind of saw what happened the last two years when they're not in the playoffs where they just kind of flame out. Uh, Gensel's hurt right now, too, to start the season. Oh, that's even worse. Uh, I, I mean, they're going to have a bad... How bad is their start going to be really going to determine where they go? It's going to be that bad. Yeah, I, be... I, I would agree with that, which which means that they... Which basically means we're almost not really predicting them for a playoff spot at this point. Yeah. Um... Yeah. Which would be the first time they've missed since, what, 05? This is already just crazy to me. The whole metro, I think the I think the rust is going to go pretty mm-hmm. pretty smoothly here for us until we get to yeah. the Pacific and we're battling for every team in the last spot. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, um, um, no, you no. Know, but the metro, like you said, the metro. There's just a lot of every team in this division has a glaring flaw, or they're just not fully. Um, what's the word look for? They're not really like. There's no great teams outside of maybe the Islanders, depending on how you feel about them. Carolina could be, but they lost some pieces. They had a weird ass off season. See, I'm kind of, I kind of lean the other way. Like if you broke the Metro up and spread them throughout the others, I think most of these teams uh, outside of Columbus could probably make the playoffs. Uh, yeah, you're probably right. I, I yeah, you're probably right about that. I guess that's um, a, I guess that's the thing. Unlike the other divisions, there's not that one great team, like that one like elite top tier team. Again, depending on how you feel about the Islanders, and I don't put them up there because I don't see that in their team outside of maybe like a Barzol. But as a team, they're obviously great. They've made two straight Eastern Conference Finals. Who are you putting in first? Uh, I lean towards the Islanders right now. I think, I think, okay. I think. Their goaltending is always really good, no matter almost who they have in that at this point. And that's going to probably... I Well, who's Carolina's goaltending right now? And I think that's going to be the difference. Okay, so is this where we, where we fall? We're happy with this? Any changes? All right. Like Philly's probably a little higher than I would have. That's originally kind thought. of that's kind of that's kind of what's going to be my one thing is like I don't is Philly the third best team in this division? They can be, but they got rid of Voracek. But they brought some pieces in. I don't remember who they brought in for Columbus. It was Cam Atkinson from oh, yeah, it was uh, Cam, for, for yeah. check. So um, he can – they moved away a playmaker for a goal scorer. Yeah. Uh, so, um, But they have they have plenty of playmakers in Philadelphia. So yeah, I think it, that was probably a positive move even though they got rid of the better player. Yeah. I think it was a positive move for the team. Yeah, which I mean, yeah, agreed. Um, uh, yeah. It, it really comes down to – uh, how good is Carter Hart going to be? Yeah, and he was not good last year. No. And uh, I, I, I think... I'm expecting to bounce back from him. I, I expect a bit of a bounce back. Plus, Philadelphia is a weird every other team kind of team, anyway, every other year kind of team, 
where one year they're like really great. Remember two years ago before the pan- at the pandemic stoppage, they were the best team in the East record wise. And then last year they fell. That's just what they do. Uh, the only other team, like because of Pittsburgh's injury situation, I'm not comfortable putting them above Philly right now. Washington, if they stay healthy and they don't drop off, I think Washington's probably above all of these teams actually. Yeah, yeah. I... But how much do we trust that right now? Outside of Ovechkin, who real who gets the little dinged up, but he's gonna, you know, he's going for the goal record, so he should be fine. Backstrom's like. 34 now and i keep thinking he's a young dude you're just like oh shit that dude's old now or, you know <laughs> relatively he's not old because that he's my age but yeah the two of us aren't allowed to call anybody in the league old but i'm gonna call everyone old. Hey, i'm there's older people than me i'm only 34 damn it <laughs> um but yeah I, 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 otherwise i think this is a pretty solid prediction um i'd be surprised if it came completely true but i think it's a solid prediction going forward Okay, so the Atlantic, um, we don't even need to talk. Um. <laughs> if if supposedly the Eichel trade, though, the Eichel trade rumors are starting to heat back up again. And if they trade them before the off season, before the season starts, which looking more and more likely all of a sudden, I, I think Buffalo could surprise a little bit. I know their team's not. I know they have a really terrible roster, but but yeah, I agree. They should be there. <laughs> I'm gonna skip ahead a little bit too because this team is gonna be down here. Because these are the two teams that are going to be battling it out for Shane Wright. Uh, I think there's a third in there. Uh, we'll get, we'll get to your third, but yeah. I think I, I I don't know if I necessarily disagree with you, but I think these two are going to be the front runners for it. Yeah, yeah, these two Arizona's, especially when they trade Phil Kessel at some point, which they're going to do, and he's about their only good player right now. That's like a legitimate scorer on his own, right? Clayton Keller. Mm, yeah, I forget about him. Sorry, Clayton. I know you're watching. <laughs> we just lost a fan. God damn it. Damn it. Oh, that's 25% of our viewer base. Um, but, yeah, these two are going to be battling it out for Shane Wright. And if Buffalo needs to make a move with Eichel to bring in some scoring depth, because if we don't, we're putting Shane Wright out there with absolutely nobody I mean, it's the same thing with Eichel, what they did with Eichel, basically. I, I don't even think Eichel had as little support as what Shane Wright could have coming in. Yeah, you might be right. Because I'm full in on the Shane Wright, just like the Connor McDavid sweepstakes. Um, <laughs> maybe maybe not to that level with Connor, because you were... Not, not quite to a Connor McDavid. I can't even say not quite, because Connor was my favorite NHL player since he was 15. They need to trade them this year is really what the reality is because I think they have a no-trade clause kicking in after this year or something like that. Or my, oh, for, for Eichel? Yeah. So that, that's going to reduce his value even more. Even if, and, and it's just, Which, by the way, apparently Buffalo wasn't giving all the medical records to teams I was looking into Jack Eichel. That seems kind of dumb. I mean, I don't know. If you're trying to trade him, I mean... I mean, this is a whole nother video. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. We're We're probably, let's focus um, on on the, on those. But yeah, Buffalo's but terrible. <laughs> I just, I just want. I'm gonna address that quick. Is they were willing to give out the medical reports as long as they felt the other team was serious and not getting serious consideration for players in return for a Jack Eichel caliber player. Um, then you're not gonna release it. Um, so when when teams are coming back and they're like, yeah, we'd like Jack Eichel and you're not getting our number one prospect in return for it. You're not being serious. Jack Eichel's one of the best players in the league. And uh, how do you feel after that, Jay? I know that was probably very hard for you to say those exact words. It was. Um, <laughs> that, that, that's Jay Beach. And yeah, that's been Jay Beach's yearly Eichel positive comment of the year. Yeah. So it was redundant. Anyway, um, yeah, um, it, it it tastes like dog shit. I, yeah. Um, okay, so where where do you fall next with this? Um, I I'd, I'd like to say let's jump up to number one. You and I may disagree uh, with who we're putting in at number one. I feel like we might, but I feel like we won't. Um, but first, are we gonna jump to number one? Is that what we're doing? Uh, whatever you want to do, but um, because I think we can, I think we can, I think we can confidently pick put seven and six, maybe not the order, but I think the next two at the bottom are Detroit and Ottawa. 
I think Detroit would be next for me and then Ottawa oh. because I like Ottawa a little bit better, what they're doing right now. I think they're going to be a little bit better. Uh, I don't think they're playoff caliber yet as long as they don't mess up the Brady Kachuk situation. I think they're on an upward trend. I do like Kachuk. Mm-hmm. Um, but I, but the, those two, at least, I think we can both agree, yeah. even if the order's not right, I think that's your bottom three in this division. Yeah. Five's probably obvious, too, but we'll get to that in a minute. Um, but as far as number one, let's go to that. Uh, I've 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 wavered on this a bit actually. I've been thinking about this. I went through three different teams. <laughs> oh, um, three different. Okay. Yes. Um, well, unfortunately, one of them was that team. Um, uh, that's not my well, prediction. No. Um, but just, they just no. They were in consideration. Toronto was in consideration, and who I think is going to win the division is Florida. We agree. Son of a bitch. I, I almost went with Toronto, but I think I feel like they're gonna have so much pressure. Your number two isn't even the same as my number two. Um. Well, I'm not, I I don't know. Yeah, I I think Toronto's gonna be number two. Um, I think they're gonna have a bit of a rough start. I think Florida, uh, and this is more about Florida actually. Florida is a powerhouse, and I don't think people realize that. I don't think people are given enough credit here, even if they you don't want to consider the rest of their badass team. They got Samson. Yeah, and they got for the, nothing. Yeah, virtually nothing. And um, you're putting him with Barkov and Sam Bennett. And Sam Bennett's on their team now too, right? Or already, already go somewhere yeah, else? Yeah. Well, I, I mean, I mean, I know Sam Bennett's a lower end, but I mean, he's still a good player. Huberto's Huberto, Huberto, Huberto. I think is their best player on their team. Yeah. Um, I, I know a lot of people uh, disagree and go with Barkov. And um, I, I mean, I really like Barkov too, but uh, who be dooby doo. Uh, by the way, it's Barkov's uh, contract year. So that's yeah. something to keep in, keep in, look forward to too. But no, I mean, for, I, depending on how you feel about their goaltending, although the backup was better than Bobrovsky. But Bobrovsky can play... Even 70 to 75% of what you did in Columbus, which is probably asking a lot. This... How many ga- how many games do you think Bob's going to be playing? Well, I mean, he's a $10 million goaltender. I mean, you're not going to have a $10 million goaltender on the bench. I, 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 I'm, I'm putting him on the bench. I mean, I, w- I would, yes, but I don't know if Florida can do that. Does that make – I mean, I, I, think, I think he has a I – think, I think the time's going to be fairly split. I think it's going to be close to a, 40, a 50-50 split in terms of percentage. Um, I think the other guy, I can't think of his name, which is really bad. Spencer Knight. Spencer Knight. I think he's going to get, as long as he performs, he's going to get the majority of the starts. Probably. If he doesn't, ha- if he doesn't have a, a sophomore slump, mm-hmm. I, I see him starting 55-ish games. Yeah, but, I mean, that could also light a fire on the Brobowski, have him losing kind of that, so... I mean, they could have a really good goaltending tandem, too. I mean, yeah, Provovsky's never going to live up that $10 million contract, and why they ever did it to begin with is pretty hilarious. But this year, this team, this is a cup contender and might be the best team in the East and might not be close. <laughs> okay, and you were having Toronto at two. I have Toronto at two, but you can convince me of either of the other two. I don't think Montreal's that team, but that's me. No, um, man, I, I was, I, I really thought I was going to have to talk you away from Tampa. No. Florida in at one. No, I, I think Tampa lost too much, um, for them to be at the top right now. I, they still have elite core and they're, t- they're, they're like Toronto and, and actually them and Toronto are so similar. They got better goaltending than Toronto and that's kind of why I wavered on this, but Tampa doesn't have a lot of depth right now. And uh, if they suffer any sort of injuries to their top talent, it's going to be tough for them to maintain the level they've been the last two years, which is more of the point. But again, Florida, just how good they are, outweighs how good Toronto or Tampa Bay or Boston are. For me, personally. Tampa goes one year without Stamkos, they're fine. They go the next year without that douchebag Kucherov, they're fine. Mm-hmm. Yes, um, but they lost a lot of that death pieces that made those two years possible. They lost, yeah. they lost Goudreau, Goudreau. They lost 
a few other people to the the Tyler Johnsons, uh, uh, and there's a couple others and I'm, I'm drawing blanks on, but they've lost some death pieces to make that possible. They're not going to be able to survive that as well. I'm not saying they can't survive at all, but they can't make a cup run if they lose one. Maybe Stamkos, because he's... Stamkos is secretly not as good as he used to be, but he's been covered by kind of what they have. But I don't think they have a lot of depth. They're still going to be a great team. They're still going to be one of the top teams in the league. But I, I'm not sold on them as being a top uh, above Florida or possibly even Toronto right now. So you want Toronto at two? I think Toronto's going to finish above them. I think if you gave me a playoff series, I'm going with Tampa. But right now, I think Toronto might be a better regular season team. So you would go Tampa, correct? I would go Tampa. And that's fair. But I'm not... I don't think I'm as passionate about Tampa finishing above mm-hmm. Toronto as you are with them finishing below Toronto. Mm-hmm. Um, and the thing is, and the weird thing with Toronto, though, is just... I am concerned of only about that just because, like, there is a lot of pressure on the Maple Leafs this year. Yeah, but they're too top heavy for me. Yeah, and they they they're very top heavy. But I, I think the same thing with Tampa Bay right now. So I think you can convince me that Tampa probably should be two because they got the better goaltending, and I didn't really take that in consideration. Okay, and then I think we agree with that move. Yeah, and we agree with that move. And um, they lost. And where'd you where'd you go? Oh, is that not is that not what you wanted? Uh, oh, you, oh, you wanted to delete them. <laughs> oh, you know, fair, fair, fair. <laughs> no, we probably should have them in. Um, quick tangent on Montreal. They're the other. They're that team I was talking about earlier about when they make the playoffs. They're just really good all of a sudden. If they uh, make the, well, they've done it two years in a row. Yes, yes. And they beat Vegas last year. They beat. Uh, I don't want to play them in the playoffs. They beat Pittsburgh two years ago. They took – I think they beat – did they beat Philly or did they take them all to seven two years ago in the COVID year? Because they beat Philly and they were the 24th – they were the last team in that weird playoff, not playoff. Nobody knows what it is. They forgot. They're never going to talk about it again. They beat they, – I think they swept Philly or they beat them in four. Then they then that was when Philly was really good and number one. And they took Philly – they at least took them, took them almost all the way. But Montreal – they're not – a cup contender. I, I think that that's not going to happen again. But if Carey Price is healthy, I don't want to play that team in the playoffs. Yeah, they, they're probably not going to have Weber at all. No, they're not. They're not, and that is uh, that that is going to be an issue for them. But I, st- I still don't want to see them in the playoffs. If I if I made those if I made the top teams right now, that's not a team I want to face. Except you know, obviously Tampa had no problem with them, but. Well, luckily for the teams that are going to make the playoffs, Montreal will not be in there. You will not see them in the Cup Finals again. You won't see them in the playoffs. No. I would. Like, I would. Are you thinking four and four? Because that's kind of where I'm at. I, I, as much as I don't want to see Boston in the playoffs, I think. Boston... Oh, do you want to do the East now? Oh no, we can we can move on. No, 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 I, no, no, no. I, 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 we're in it. We're in it. Um. I thought that's where you're going. My bad. I missed. I, I missed up. Layoffs. Layoffs. So just a reminder: since last year was a weird year, the top three teams in each division automatically go to the playoffs. Yep, got them marked. Just in case anyone was wondering what was going on there, because it's been a couple of years since we've had a, week, a normal season. <laughs> um, so that's our top three currently. Um, I just. Blew out what I, I thought were going to be both two wild card teams. You're going four and four. I think it's going to be four and four. I, I don't I don't see either the comp division getting five. I think the I I would like to see Pittsburgh over Boston. I really would. I think I hate to say it, but I think Boston's too good. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Okay. Fuck you. I'm not doing it. Yeah, fair enough. You got control. <laughs> um, just for the record, once again, I'm just going to say that I think Boston will make the playoffs, but you know. I don't. I hate it, but I think their I think their team's still too good. Although their goal attending question marks uh, is Linus Omark the guy. No, I've seen him for a while. He's not the guy. All right. All right. Well, let's move on to that central division. We've already said who's last because we think they're going to be in the in the 
It, this and, is an easy first for us also, correct? You have no objections? Oh, Colorado, yeah. So, I mean, okay. I mean, I, I like a couple teams in this division. But, I mean, Colorado's just... If they don't win a cup in the next couple of years, they will be one of the biggest disappointments. Uh, do you have a clear-cut team for number two? I think we are going to disagree. I think we are, too, because right now, for me, it's Minnesota. Um, and for me, it's Winnipeg. Um, I think Minnesota... I like Minnesota a lot more than you do. Um, I, I don't trust a team that has no depth down the middle. And that is fair. But... Uh, although I do like I do like the flower in Chicago, I think that's going to rise them up. Um, uh, Dallas should be better. So can we put Chicago here? Well, it depends on who we have at three. Well, I well we know who we're gonna have at oh, three. Oh, Minnesota, Minnesota Olympic, Olympic. Yeah, Olympic. Never mind. yeah, yeah. Are you that? Yeah, yeah. I would. Um, they, they can score. They yeah, have really. goaltending. I know their defense is a their little defense lacking. Is bad. Winnipeg's defense is bad. But they put the puck in the net and they get probably the best goaltending in the league. I know we talked to Vasilevsky. I don't think we mentioned him by name no, earlier in Tampa. Um, I didn't want to screw it up. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, it's that, just a, he's just a hell of a buck. Really? Really? <laughs> uh, but you're right, though, and that, that does make a difference. But they had that last year, and they still finished in third in the week north. And that's telling to me. And, yes, Toronto and Edmonton are both good, and they swept Edmonton despite being outplayed. I mean, Grant, you know, Sheffley got suspended in the second round, all that bullshit, but I, I tend to agree with you. I, I would have no problem putting him at two or three. That's why I don't put him at two, because I think that's just better. But, man, I am just... There's something wrong with this team, and I don't know what it is. It, they're not right. And, and, and is it the defensive problem? Is their defense that bad? But, yeah, Connor Hellebuck's gonna... Should make him, should make him a playoff team at the very least. Um... So we're split on these two, but we at least agree that they're two and three. Mm -hmm. Actually, I might not even agree that Minnesota's three. Interesting. Um, again, no depth down the middle. They have a hard time scoring. Um, good defense, but I just... Well... Well, just, again, it's the, New, it's, big fan. it's the New York Islanders way. I mean, it's like a, they're built similar to the Islanders. I mean, the Islanders don't have great depth down the middle. I think Bar Barzell's a winger. But, yeah, he's, a, he's in the middle. Is he? You got Matt Barzell, yeah. Yeah, okay, that, that makes a difference. But, I mean, they're built – they're a similar team. But I, I just like what they're doing in Minnesota. And I, 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 I know they lost Ryan Suter. I don't think that's – I mean, he was – he didn't play bad last year. And, and that whole – weird buyout situation was bad, but that shouldn't affect them this year. That's going to affect them like two or three years down the road, but that's a whole other discussion. Um, I like the team. I, th I think they're going to finish in the top two personally. That That is my, what I think is going to happen. I'm going to laugh when I'm wrong too, but um, who would be your third? St. Louis? Um, I'm going gonna... to put Nashville here. Yes, I would agree. With, we, I would agree with that. And fully expecting to be so wrong that they finish in second place in the Central. Who, Nashville? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Na Na Nashville does better when no one gives them a chance, so that would, wouldn't surprise me. Um, and they got a good goaltender, too, in Soros. So. They, they have two centers that they pay a lot of money that if they both turn it on, then get the hell out of the way. Mm -hmm. But, but um, obviously, I don't think they're going to turn it on. And they haven't since they've really been there. Um, I'd probably put Dallas as the better team between these two. 
Yeah, I mean, it seems like St. Louis is content with keeping Tarasenko, and if he's engaged and healthy, I, I think St. Louis could be... I think it's telling. I, I think it's it's easily... It was talked about that I think we kind of forgot about since they made their cup run, but St. Louis was dead last in the league before they went on that crazy run. And now they're getting back there. And I think we need to realize that maybe that was not the anomaly and that run was the anomaly because they haven't been good since the run. Um, one thing with this division, um, do you want to make any changes to the order to this division? No, I, I think this would be what okay. my, my, what my personal, I mean, we, if you want to put Winnipeg at two and Minnesota three, since you think Minnesota is further down than I do, I think that it, since this is a combination effort, I would be okay with that. Um, this is another no question asked. Mm -hmm. I think I would. I agree. I, there's no way I would change it, but I think if Edmonton puts it all together, I think they can make a run at Vegas. But I don't know if their defensive core is going to be good enough. I don't know if their goaltending is going to hold up. They have 41-year-old Mike Smith in that again, so not uh, great. <laughs> I, I mean, they – He played well the, last year. Maybe the surprise is to put Connor back at goalie and uh, run away with it. Yeah, you never, you, you never know. Um, um, and then after those two – um, You got a lot of bad. Um, uh, you got you – got, I think you got legitimately four, three bad teams, like three bad teams. You have a team that, sh two teams see, that should be. When you're better. saying that, I don't even know which three you're talking about. Well, let me let me finish the other <laughs> ones, and you'll understand. You have two teams who should be better than they are, but continue to underachieve a bit, and you have the unknown, which is obviously the Kraken. I mean, they probably are going to be bad, but. We thought that about Vegas, and then Vegas went to the Stanley Cup final. Um, for me, of these six, Calgary and Vancouver should be three and four in some order. Okay, we agree with that. Um, I, I to be is Vancouver then Calgary, but you can convince I, I, me either way. Nope, we're on the same page with that. Um, with that, after that, fucking forget it. I'm going to give Seattle the benefit of the doubt. They have great goaltending. <laughs> that's like their, that's their one point. Well, they got Grubauer. Yeah. And that, I mean, is Grubauer great, or did he play for Colorado? That that helps. That that helps. Although he played great with Washington as a backup, too. I'm granted, I was a backup Oh, no, role, not though. with Washington. He played in Washington and then Colorado. Hey, you know. Who was the guy before? Well, I mean, Kyle Rowles had goaltending issues pre guru hour, so, I mean, he did solidify that position. Um, but nonetheless, fair enough. Um, yeah, I, I'm okay with putting Seattle 5. I don't fucking know. Like, this division sucks. <laughs> like, Anaheim, LA could be better. They at least got the two superstars who probably still could produce at a high level, depending on how you feel about Kopitar and, and, and Dowdy. Uh, Dowdy, I'm hoping he has a bounce back season. I want him to have a stronger end to his career mm -hmm. because I honestly do think he is one of the best defensemen to ever play. And for him to be struggling late in his career, I can't continue saying that. Right. Yeah. And that's, I mean, he sounds like he's ready. So, but I mean, I'm, that... I'm hoping Dowdy comes back because uh, he's, and, and in Dowdy's he's defense. the one guy, he's the one guy in the league that can keep up with my fucking F-bombs. And you're, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. And uh, to his, in his defense, too, the last couple of years, who's been there with him? <laughs> the, it's hard to do it by yourself. And, you know, a lot of the analytics, I think, have him higher than most people think he is. But I agree. I want to see him have a bounce back year. He is getting up there. And, you know, Kopitar and... Both him and Kopitar are getting, you know, to the point where the point of no return for them. And if I, want Jonathan, it, I want Jonathan Quick to pretend that this entire season is the playoffs. Yeah. 
Um, um, although, is he going to be the starter? I, I don't remember the guy, but it sounds like the other guy might even be. Who knows? Um, so that one might be a little more hopeful. Yeah. Well, but in but, the same breath, we have two shitheads below them. And, and both these two teams are almost probably going to be in the Shane Wright sweepstakes. I, they're probably not as bad as Buffalo and Arizona, although San Jose, is, they're just entire organization right now is a dumpster fire. Um, they're not, they're getting close, but they're not Buffalo Sabres level of dumpster fire because they all have the longevity. But Jesus I'm Christ. Gonna, I am going to go here. But then they're going to trade away the Ninja Hurdle, and they're going to finish here. Yeah, he's on his last year, isn't he? Um, or close. One or two? One or two. I'm, I'm, I don't remember. but I know he's in trade rumors, although he talked about wanting to resign, so we'll see. And really, if, if I'm saying Jose, I would probably try to because he's like one of their only young pieces right now. I don't know if I'd say young. He's in his prime. Well, yeah, yeah. I mean, I guess he's older than I think he is, but... Um, uh, which then would put Anaheim here, and that just feels wrong. Just, they're... Yeah, but I, San Jose's a bad team. I mean, I don't know what happened to Eric, Eric Carlson. He's kind of fallen off the wagon hard. Um, Brett Burns is pushing at this point. I mean, you know, and unless I, you got the ninja hurdle at forward and then what else? And the less said about the goaltending, the better. Um, it's just, I think San Jose is in a class with Buffalo and Arizona or pretty close to it. I think they're slightly better than Buffalo and Arizona. But, man, they're, they're terrible. I think Anaheim, is, I agree with you is in this order. I think they're just a little bit better. But they at least have some intriguing young pieces coming. And we talked about, now I'm here, obviously, but you and I have talked about the pieces for Jack Eichel and some of the things that could come back. And there's some exciting, like, oh, yeah, yeah. So for Anaheim, there's at least hope for the future where I don't know if you could say that. San Jose has. Yeah. Yeah, and and obviously until they get the Vander Kane situation figured out, that's going to hang over them, too. He's just... He's such a toxic presence in a locker room at this point. It's unbelievable how, how I mean, San Jose got him, went to the cup with him. I think that was the same year, and then played well the next year. I think it was only two years ago they were in the Western Conference Finals. Two years ago, and what I mean, age happened, but man, it is just. It's been, and the thing is, like, for San Jose, it's been a long time since they've been bad. And now they're bad. Anyway. But, yeah. Um, so we have that. Yeah. We have that. Um, I got to make a change. Um, I know they just picked up Seth Jones. I like Seth Jones. Um, and his brother. They have they have Mark Andre Fleury, who is uh, my favorite current goaltender, uh, a top five all time favorite goaltender for me. I really like him. I want to see him succeed. Um, Crazy say about him. He's never missed the playoffs. <sighs> Are you trying to convince me to go back the other way? No, no, but it is wild that in his long ass career that he somehow hasn't missed the playoffs. And I don't know how that's possible. Because I, I was thought because he came in be, a couple years before Crosby, I would assume that year. But maybe, maybe unless they don't count years they didn't play, I, I don't know. Uh, uh, he, Crosby, and Melkin all started together. Okay. <laughs> And they're just like, yeah, fuck it. Uh, uh, man, I gotta get. I... They still have Kane and the and, uh, Brigitte, Brigitte Cat, the Brin Cat. I said that name wrong. They do have. The I, I think the, I think the moral factor is a tough one with Chicago, but yeah. Yeah, that really is what's what's holding me 
back with it, but. And then, do we take a fifth team or does Calgary get in? Well, Calgary shows up. I think. Well, Dallas shows up. I think if it's the Calgary that it plays well enough to get fourth, then they're going to be the team. Then they play well enough to make the playoffs. Yeah. And they probably get third at that point if they play well enough to get in the playoffs. But yeah, I I I I would lean slightly Calgary over Dallas, but. I, I think I like Calgary's goaltending situation slightly better than Dallas's. They're kind of, Dallas's top line's better, but what after? Yeah. I mean, it's hard putting Sagan and Ben out of the playoffs, but they missed the playoffs last year. You know? They also have Radic Faxa down in the middle, too. Yeah, yeah. They got pieces. It's just a matter of putting it together. And when they did, they made the cup finals. By the way, interesting factoid, uh, this is the second consecutive year that the Stanley Cup participants, the very next season, are division rivals. <laughs> Thank you, COVID. Um, because last year, Tampa Bay and Dallas were in the same division. This year, Tampa Bay and Montreal are. So that's going to be fun. Remember, remember Kucherov saying, those sh- saying that shit about Montreal? They get to play each other a lot. Yay! But yeah, I, 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 I feel pretty good about this. I, other than Calgary, Dallas situation, I, I feel pretty good about this. Um, well, I put Boston in over Pittsburgh, but yeah. Okay, Fuck so who, who do we have going through without taking a look at the brackets and how they're going to precisely break down? Mm-hmm. Who do you think are the two best teams in the East that could face each other in the conference finals? Okay. Well... Obviously, Florida and Tampa, Toronto or Florida and Tampa can't face each other. Yeah. So, looking at, I think, if Florida doesn't make the conference finals this year, I think it's a failure for them. I think I think they're that good. I think, they're, I think they make it. Uh, the Petro? Um, oh, all five could, and that's the problem. Um, I lean... I'm not going... I lean towards Carolina, but I am not picking against the Islanders. I'm just not. Uh, Once we get into specific matchups, I am going with the Islanders because I will not go against them. Uh, But seeing that I don't have a specific matchup here, um, it's Philadelphia for me, and I don't know why. I just think that they have the right pieces of grit in the right areas. Um, and and they and they're and they're I mean last year was a bad year for them but they're a legitimately good team I mean they're if Carter Hart has that bounce back with what you expect and that's kind of what held them back last year absolutely I could totally see them making it but yeah I'm taking Florida for the Cup Finals I think we agree on that I I I, I think when I look at the East as a whole and I look at Florida's team. And we've mentioned that already, and I'm, I'm just slobbering all over him at this point. But Florida, I think Sam Reinhart could put 50 goals. Oh, I think that might be a little high it's, it's for him. But I, like, I, I, I like the confidence there. So Man, he scored, I'd love to see it. He scored, but. He scored what, 30 la- close to 30 last year on that Buffalo team in 56 games? I mean, am I, out, am I really out of my element there, considering what he's played on? And he's a goal scorer. He's a good goal scorer. Yes, 50 is probably a stretch. He had to be a goal scorer for Buffalo. In Florida, he's going to be allowed to play more of his game, which is a more well-rounded Yeah, that's game. fair. But I think he pushes 40 at minimum. I think he, I think he is 40. I, th- I, think he, I think he tops or gets close to the 80 to 85 point range. Yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I think I think he's in that uh, era, in that in that realm, maybe a little higher. Um, yeah, I mean he doesn't have to be the guy, which is nice for him. Um, but yeah, I, I just think I mean Toronto, if they get their act together, definitely could challenge them. But and and obviously discounting Tampa Bay is probably a fool's errand to some degree. But I, I think Florida just substantially I, I i think that there's a gap between florida talent wise and the rest of the conference 
Again, picking against the Islanders is never a good idea either. But I just I, I really like this Florida team. I really do. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I cursed you, Florida. Who do you like out west? Uh, out west, I think out west is hard. Um, I think you got. I think it's tiered a bit. I think you got the two top again uh, with Colorado and Vegas. Um, I think I, those are. I think the clear cut two, but both teams seem to not. Colorado's failed in the playoffs multiple years in a row. Yeah, yes, they played Vegas in round two last year, who was the second, who tied with them for the President's Trophy. That makes a difference, but um, the Connor McDavid should they should yeah. be a cup they should be a cup no, contender. Vegas and Colorado, neither one of them has Connor McDavid, and yeah. I'm, I'm going Edmonton. Although although Colorado has Nathan McKinnon, that's pretty up there too, and Land of God, that helps. But I didn't tell us about Drive's idol. <laughs> um, I, I think it's a, I think it's a, I, I do agree that it's a three horse race between Colorado, Vegas, and Edmonton. I think there's a small gap between Colorado and Vegas and that and where Edmonton is. Uh, just because I don't trust Edmonton's goaltending at all. Um, I trust Colorado's more, even though they lost Grubauer, and I trust Vegas is a lot more with Wayner. And we appreciate you tuning in and watching us here at the Lunchroom Syndicate. I have NJ. And I have a Christopher. Deuces.